don't care about money. Money will always follow you whenever you can prove that your brain is working amazing. My name is Winnie Itago. By day, I am an m and &E consultant. I am also a businesswoman. I have a fashion business company, which is called House of Bemi. Um, so House of Bemi is a bespoke uh, tailoring company where we provide bes bespoke fashion um, solutions to people, um, fusing African Afrocentricity in different um, fashion needs that our clients come to us for. Um, and then under House of Bemi, we also have a brand uh, called Soke. So Soke is a ready-to-wear um, brand. We embody that fusing of African um, and other different types of materials. Um, so that's on the fashion side. And then I also do have a restaurant business, which is called Calaba Cuisine. Um, this one is located at YMCA and it specializes in Nigerian and Kenyan um, cuisine. Also, on the other hand, um, I have a farming business. Um, so this one, it is in a startup phase um, where we are looking to get into um, farming of onions, tomatoes, um, some French beans, um, beans, just different um, different types of crops that are, uh, they mature very quickly. I joined the Equity Leaders Program in 2011 after I finished my high school. Um, I went to my high school in St. Anne's Lyoki, which is in Kiambu. I was fortunate to receive the call that I had been selected to be part of the Equity Leaders Program. And honestly, I feel like that's that has really contributed to where I am right now. At the Equity Leaders Program, um, the first level of it, we experienced like professional development where part of it, we worked with a bank. Um, so I worked at Equity Bank as a teller, a customer service representative for one and a half years almost. Um, and then the other part of it is um, entrepreneurial um, capacity development and also mentorship. The mentors that I had access to really helped me start thinking out of the box beyond what you're doing, beyond your school education, what else can you do with your skills? Um, so through the Equity Leaders Program, I was fortunate to get admission in University of California in Berkeley. I graduated uh, with honors in e environmental economics and policy and also global poverty practice minor. I went to a little unknown school called Ndongoro Primary School. Um, it's also in, it's in Loa Kabete. Um, and I had a class teacher called Miss Njenga. Uh, I remember one day she pulled me aside and said, don't care about money. Money will always follow you whenever you can prove that your brain is working amazing. The biggest things that I take from the ELP program, um, number one is financial management. No matter how much money I get, I know a good chunk of it has to go towards savings. You have to have an emergency fund and save towards different um, needs, regardless of how much you're making. The other thing that I took from the ELP Scholars Program is social capital. Um, that's the mentors, the friends that I made there. And the third thing that I have to emphasize I got from the program is their emphasis on entrepreneurship. One of the things that we are also encouraged is to think around how are you going to build yourself beyond just your job. Your asset is you. you you're your biggest asset. Um, you build your skills, build your knowledge, build, like study as hard as you can, be smart and, and, and invest in your mind um, because people are willing to pay to promote whatever is in your mind.